What's up guys? We're gonna make a small tech tip video on how to stream from your old consoles. So basically right here we have an N64 console. It's a PAL region one which means it's, it's a European version. And basically the cable coming out of it is the, those types of cables. And basically the yellow one you can see right here is the video signal cable. And then you have the red and white ones, those are the audio cables. And basically what you do with those three cables is you plug them into a, an adapter thingy like this. Like you can see here in the back, they have the three colors uh, as well. So you basically just plug them in and you get a SCART exit. The SCART exit is really important for this setup. Uh, basically every TV has a SCART exit or entrance I guess, so that shouldn't be a problem. So you, you plug those in, you have this set it up, that's that. Next device we're gonna need is a Dazzle, which is this thing. There are multiple devices that do the job. I'm using a Dazzle. Uh, I used uh, another device before, which was called a Valamen, but there were, there were a lot of trouble with it. And it honestly, it died because of overheating. So I switched to a Dazzle device. And as you can see here in the front of the device, the three colors come back as well. And you would think that you can just plug them in instantly, the console cables into the Dazzle. Well, honestly you can do it, but you won't be able to play your games because the device has a small delay, and which means that you can't play it in real time. So you will have to use a, an extra piece of hardware to split the signal and settings up. And that's where this piece comes in. So basically this is a splitter. I'm sorry, this is a splitter. And basically what you do is you plug it into your TV and here in the back of it is a SCART entrance and you can pretty much uh, connect every console with it and what it does is it splits the signal, it goes into your TV and the three cables here on top, those are the yellow, red and white ones again. And basically you're gonna use those cables to plug them into the dazzle like here are the exits of the cables as you can see the three colors come back again and you're gonna plug those into the dazzle so like I said you want to do that because otherwise you won't be able to play because of the delay so we have that set it up but with the dazzle there is one small problem basically you want to use the yellow cable right here and you plug the yellow cable into your dazzle but that leaves one problem the dazzle has a, a small bug in it that you can't use the audio ports like you can see it has the left and the right one, the white and the red for the audio. But there is a small problem with it that the audio won't be recognized because it's a USB input. I'm not sure if that happens for everyone, but at least it does for me. But there is a small way to work around that. So basically, I have this audio cable here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, those cables represent the white and the red one like I showed before. And instead of plugging them into the Dazzle, I plug them into those types of things. I'm not sure what they are called, but that's what I use. And then you get this type of cable as an exit. This cable goes into your sound card in uh, the line in exit. And then in your computer, it will also recognize the audio input from your console. So basically, that's how you stream from your console. It is not that hard to set up. It is a bit of searching to get everything right, but basically what you do is you split the signal from your console in two. One goes into your TV, one goes into the Dazzle, and pretty much you just play on your TV and you can record everything on your computer or you can stream it to Twitch TV. And I'm using the Dazzle hardware for it, so that's the setup I'm using. Uh, I'm also using it for the GameCube and for the PlayStation 1. I guess you can even use it for mo more consoles, but like the Dazzle is not really super HD, so I guess if you want to go for HD consoles, you kind of need to go for newer devices, but for the older ones, this is perfect. So anyway, that was the video, guys. I hope this uh, you learned something from it, and if there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment, and that will be it. See you guys later.